is Sarah Burkrist, manager of the Amherst Farmers Market. Um, so Sarah, do you want to tell me a little bit about the Farmers Market? Sure. Um, the Amherst Farmers Market has been running for um, 38 years. This is its 39th season this year. Um, and it takes place in the center of Amherst. It was started by um, John Spinetti, who's our current market president. Um, and I'm the market manager. The market offers all kinds of local products from organic fruits and veggies to um, cheese and meats, maple syrup, uh, honey, all kinds of products, crafts like brooms, handmade brooms, um, and it runs for 32 weeks every year and it takes place every Saturday from 7.30 to 1.30. Awesome. So pretend I don't know anything about Farmer's Market at all. Okay. How would you try and convince me? Um, that shopping at Farmer's Market is a better alternative than a grocery store? Okay, um, there's a few different angles I feel like that are really um, valuable about shopping at Farmer's Market. The first, I think, is um, supporting your local farmers, supporting your community farmers. Um, if you purchase food at a Farmer's Market, you are purchasing it directly from the farmer, so you know exactly where your food is coming from. Um, and another reason is fresher food. If you're purchasing food at a farmer's market, it was most likely picked or harvested a couple days before the market. So the food has maximum freshness and maximum nutrition. Um, so it's a lot fresher, which means it's healthier, and um, it's healthier for the community because you're supporting your local farmers. I think the farmer's market is awesome because it it's a community event. It's more than just a place to buy food. You go there and see your neighbors and see your farmers and people have relationships with the people that are growing their food. So, um, you know, they come and they bring their dogs and their kids, there's events, there's live music. Um, a lot of times there are events happening on the town common, festivals and all kinds of things. So it can be a real community event and it's more than just a supermarket or a place to buy food, you know. Um, and it, it can really accommodate people of all economic backgrounds. Yeah. So, um, you mentioned to me that you were trying to get food stamps accepted at the farmer's market. Do you want to speak yeah. a little about that? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, the Amherst Farmer's Market, this is our first year and we're um, piloting trying to accept food stamps at our market. So, um, we have a SNAP leadership team and SNAP is, stands for a Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, um, which is formerly known as food stamps. So, um, a lot of farmer's markets across the country are trying to integrate um, the acceptance of food stamps into their market to accommodate people of all economic levels and engage lower income individuals in the community, in the market. So in Amherst, um, we are doing this by, um, we have a team of people working on the project. It's myself and Abby Breedenberg, and the town um, has been really supportive. The Board of Health, the Chamber of Commerce have been really supportive in integrating this program to the farmer's market. So um, it did just kick off last weekend, and um, tomorrow is our second Saturday accepting food stamps. Um, in order to accept food stamps, since it's all done on a debit card now, you need a machine called an EBT machine. And so um, SNAP recipients or food stamp recipients can swipe their card, their debit-like card. It works just like a debit card, and you get credit in the form of tokens, and then you can spend it wherever you want at the market. Um, so. With this machine that accepts food stamps, we can now accept debit and credit cards too. So it just brings more income to the market. Awesome. Um, it's an awesome program, you know, yeah, increasing sense. access to local, fresh, healthy food. And it, and it can be problematic, and um, a lot of times people make assumptions that a certain area might not have a low income demographic, or, you know, there, there are no people using food stamps in Amherst, and that's not true. There are 978 families in Amherst that are SNAP participants. So um, reaching out to everyone in the community is really important. We're trying to really organize our process a little bit more on how to select vendors, but our, our criteria really are just diversity. I think that's the most important thing, is just offering the most diverse products at the market, having everything, you know? You wanna create a space where people can come and just buy everything like they do at the supermarket. Um, so diversity is really important. We don't have too many overlapping products. Um, 
proximity to Amherst is really important. We want to bring in the most super local farmers. We want to bring in people who are on Amherst soil. Um, but a lot of times if you're looking for diversity, that can be difficult. You have to get farmers in surrounding towns.